It's royal news, a petition against Prince Harry receiving an award for his work with veterans has now reached over 50,000 signatures. We saw earlier perhaps it's 60,000 now. Mm. Yeah, lots of apathy for him. So the controversy is around the Duke of Sussex receiving the Pat Tillman Award for his work with the Invi Invictus Games, which is typically given to individuals with, quote, strong connections to sport. Yes, so Pat Tillman, a former American footballer, gave up his work in the sport to join the armed forces in the wake of 9-11, but he was very sadly killed in Afghanistan in 2004. Yeah, and I think he was earning something akin to $3 million a year at the time as an NFL player, so it was a very big move for him to do that. So his mother, Mary, she believes that there are more deserving recipients of the award than the Duke, who is described, she describes him, as uh, controversial and divisive. Well, let's now speak to the former royal correspondent at The Sun, Charles Ray. Charles, good afternoon. Is that a fair assessment of our uh, Prince Harry? He's controversial and divisive? Well, he's certainly controversial and divisive. There's no doubt about that. But whether he deserves this award is a different kettle of fish. Now, I've been quite critical, particularly on GB News, of both Harry and Meghan, but you cannot take away from Harry the work he has done with the Invictus Games since 2014 when it was set up and the, the, the very fact that he fits the criteria because he was a serving soldier and did two tours of Afghanistan. Now that said, uh, he fits the criteria for the award. Uh, I question as to why ESPN gave it to him. Uh, I suspect it's because they knew there was going to be controversy and therefore publicity for the award. And I've done some little bit of research and two previous winners of the award, um, a guy called Jake Wood and Israel Del Toro, both support Prince Harry getting the award. Now, there is an argument that says, having set up the Invictus Games, it's got an organisation behind it. It's doing quite well. Why not give it to someone who's less well known, uh, who's been doing this work selfishly behind the scenes? Uh, you know, it's it's six and one and a half a dozen the other. I I think Harry would be best to sort of say at the end, look, thanks very much for this, but I cannot accept it. You have to give it to someone else. I mean, you've given quite a quite a lot of justification though for why he should receive sure. the award in what you just said. Why do you think so many people have signed this petition? Why do you think there's such a level of uh well, disagreement here, if not anger. Well, uh, we have, what we don't know, Emily, is where the, the disagreement comes from. You know, where, is it America? Is it Britain? Is it other places in the world? Because it's, it's on change.org or whatever, whatever it is. Uh, and I, I just go, I think it just goes to show that there is a lot of dissatisfaction with Prince Harry, particularly in America now, uh, because they see him as entitled and not doing very much, which I think is a great shame. As I said right at the start, he, he is a hero, a soldier hero himself. There is no question about that. And he does deserve the award. But, you know, I, I, I say, I question ESPN's decision to give it to him. Charles, what's Harry uh, well, and Meghan as well, what's their plans for the imminent future in the US? Because there was some exclusive polling for uh, the US publication Newsweek out, I think about four weeks ago, saying that Meghan was now as popular as King Charles. So according to the Sussex squad, you know, the, the group we see online, they're incredibly popular. What plans have they got, do you reckon, in the coming weeks or months that we know of? I think that I think that, that Megan is very very popular with the Sussex squad. Uh, all six of them, or whatever. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be on your eight. back now, Charles. For that, careful. <laughs> but she's not. Uh, I cannot believe any poll or any survey that shows that she is as popular uh, uh, as the King. Uh, certainly, it won't be a poll that's been done in this country. It may be done in America. Who knows? But you know what they're going to do in the future is the, uh, you know, to use the old fashioned phrase, $64,000 question, because they've been losing a couple of their contracts that they've, they've got. They're still trying to pump up, you know, things mm. that they, they've got, but we haven't seen anything. All, they've been, all the contracts that they had involved criticizing the royal family and their time within the royal family. Now, mm. once you've said all that, you can't keep going on about that. You've got to change yeah. the act a bit. Yeah, I guess their problem is the only thing that really makes them special is their royal connection. Um, and as you say, you can't keep milking that uh, once you've well, revealed that's, that's, all, all the dirty that's laundry. Right, Emily. If, if they were just plain ordinary Harry Wales and Meghan Wales, uh, nobody would be really caring no. all that much what they get up to. 
You know, the fact that they get, they've got a lot of money and they've got that raw connection, that raw connection is worth its weight in gold, as they have proved. Yeah, but the problem is, Charles, I think they've spilled the beans. They've run out of ammunition on, you know, yeah. their dirty laundry when it comes to the Royals. I mean, what else is there to say? But Charles Ray, former Royal Correspondent at The Sun, thank you so much for joining us. Great to speak to you. Have a great afternoon.